In this video, we introduce pressure marks, pen strokes where the variations in pressure make it possible to indicate both a selection and an action simultaneously. Selection and actions are common interactions in most graphical user interfaces. However, these interactions are often separated in time. For example, a user does a selection and then indicates an action. By assigning a meaning to the variations of pressure within a stroke, we can specify scope and action in a concurrent fluid motion. We investigate four types of pressure marks. Low, 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 high, 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 and high, low. It is relatively straightforward to browse through marks when they do not overlap in space, such as in the spy menu. However, pressure marks can overlap in space, thus making traditional approaches that lay out options in XY space not appropriate. Instead, we propose a semi-sequential browsing mode that lets users discover the set of available pressure marks. After the system detects a noticeable pause in the user's interaction, it shows graphical feedback that reveals available pressure marks to the user. From that point, users can mimic the display profile if they want to or cancel the interaction by pigtailing. Pressure marks can be used independently of the relative orientation of the user and display. Since the action relates to the variations in pressure, it really doesn't matter from where a user engages the screen. We believe this property makes pressure marks compelling for collaborative tabletop scenarios where there is no prescribed user screen orientation. Pressure marks can enhance existing interaction techniques, as is the case of simple pressure marks or pressure fanning to, for example, expand the pile in ascending or the sending order. In conclusion, we presented pressure marks, marks where we assign a meaning to the variations in pressure within. User studies have shown them as a viable interaction technique as well as capable of being faster than current state-of-the-art sequential selection action techniques.